a look at uh, the mail and um, interest rates. Uh, people are actually calling for them to, to go up, something that you perhaps wouldn't think would be yeah. the case. Well, uh, that's the thing, isn't it? Because, of course, interest rates go up, uh, savers benefit, of course, people with mortgages don't. Mm. And everyone's speculating they're going to go up next year at some point or certainly before the election in 2015 is this a good idea this article in the mail is saying that for older savers it definitely is and that they've been the victims of these low interest rates for for months for years and actually maybe it wouldn't be electoral suicide for them to go up before the election however i think what to think about is that there are also all these reports saying that you know cost of living isn't is increasing uh, the money in people's pockets it doesn't seem to be going up, wage increase aren't going up. So if they're collared with big mortgages all of a sudden, that's going to cause a lot of problem. And I think that Even will also bigger. make people think, well, actually, do I want this to carry on? Am I going to vote for these people? So actually, I don't know. It might cause them more trouble than they think. Yeah, raising interest rates or not, they're always going to be winners and losers, aren't they? That's, that's an the instinct. economy. I'm not happy with that. But then I'm not an economist like <laughs> our friends. <laughs> Neither am I, Stuart, but you've been did a good job of pretending job, I was one. <laughs> Uh, stories about finances are uh, also in mm. the um, on page 17 of the mail, and this is to do with comic relief um, yeah. and, and really about some of their investments that perhaps people weren't aware of. But they've sort of done a U-turn. They have. Well, uh, again, I suppose it's great. It brings attention back to comic relief. All charities have to have the public's trust. That's the real message. And after the Panorama programme, uh, it uh, revealed that investments were going to uh, what do they call it? Booze bombs and fags. Um, again, I don't know how money works, but there are always hidden places on tiers. Um, according to Comic Relief's accounts, 2007 to 2009 play, uh, placed millions in blue chip city funds that in turn invested. So they could say they don't know the actual end result of where the money, they just want the biggest return. Mm. Anyway, it's uh, brought, um, well, I mean, they're I going to have a look at it. Yeah, I mean, I suppose a lot of us that, that have investments, do we truly know how our yeah. money is being invested? You don't. You Some, a man put in money a suit in and hope does. for a return. It's a man in a suit's job. Um, but, but good that they're looking at it and they have taken yes, it seriously. Yes, quite right. Uh, sorry, we had a look at a little earlier. Clowns. This is uh, page 33 of the Sun. Yeah, um, I don't know if you're scared of clowns. I was just look at that picture there. I don't particularly there. like them. It I don't know look, anybody who does. You can see why people think that's quite terrifying. That's obviously the Pennywise from Stephen King's It, that, that clown's based mm. on that character. It, I mean, it does look quite menacing, doesn't it? And this mm. all started, I, I know about this story because it was in our patch. Um, there's a guy in Northampton, it came famous as the Northampton clown, who would literally pop up on Facebook and say, where am I going to be next? He'd just go out and take selfies of himself. It was kind of about 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, midnight. Now imagine if you See, were walking scary. your dog at that <laughs> time scary. and you saw someone dressed like that. Mm -mm. It's pretty scary, isn't mm. it? Um, and uh, this guy's come out today who's apparently the secretary of the of Clowns International and I said they're it. doing clowning <laughs> no favours. Uh, obviously, a lot of clowns are fun and they're there to entertain children, a lot of them, and that he's saying this is just making this whole fear of clowns even worse. But a lot of people are quite scared of them, aren't they? Mm. They are. I, I don't know anyone who says that they love they clowns. Love them, yeah. Adults and I children like it alike. when they fall over. That's always a laugh. But then I it like it so when so anyone's there for the slapstick <laughs> humour. Even you know, they come with a water shoes. pistol and squirt you in the face oh, at, at midnight. Not That's funny. not funny, is it? It's aggressive. It's, it's aggressive, funny. Stuart. Now, from clowns to uh, baking, I re really don't want to talk about cooking because I said I had eight hours had of it, it. <laughs> on uh, Christmas Day. But uh, Mary Berry, she's um, cashing in. Tin shock a gate, I would say. <laughs> yes, um, amazing. Well, there is something that uh, called a push pan. I don't know if the ladies present are familiar <gasps> with the word oh, a push pan. Is it the silicone? Well, baking you see, you do know. Tins. Push wow. pan is the way forward, apparently, Gillian. to um, to cover cover all <laughs> mishaps. Well, yes, Mary Berry. Um, I'm probably one of the few people who haven't watched the Bake Off, no, I but haven't. I mean, not just haven't been in. Cause I'm so busy with my um, hugely um, rewarding career. But anyway, um, <laughs> but I do know that. Like Nigella before her, uh, moving swiftly on, all um, cake tins will are getting a boost. And, and Mary Berry quite rightly says, with the right tools, there is no reason why there should be any further mishaps in the kitchen. But everyone can bake. Everyone. It's the tools. Thank it's God for Mary not Berry. The yes. Thank God. We're going to have a push Save pan. Save your cake tins. Her. Push <laughs> pan. No, we need it. We, we mock. No, she, um, no, no, but she's much loved, isn't she? She's, she's she sure is. she's doing really do well. very nicely out of bakes, mm. National she? treasure. Mm. Get baking, everyone. Yeah. Push, push tins are the way forward. <laughs> um, now, this, these stories come around uh, this time of year. All the time, and, and just oh, look shocking. at those these puppies. gorgeous mm. puppies. Yeah. Tell us about these. Well, I mean, <laughs> as you say, we hear about this uh, this time of year. Four of them dumped in a cardboard box uh, around the back of the supermarket. 
I honestly don't know if people don't, don't want them, why they just don't hand them in. I mean, OK, it's understandable that you might not want them or be yeah. able to look after them, but there's, there are places you can hand these in. You, you know, you don't just leave... Yes. Presumably, get some Well, I, I, I don't know, but... Anyway, in a difficult situation. Yeah, yes. I don't know, but just to leave them like that. Anyway, it's, it's quite sweet, because they've, they've given them panto names, all four of them, mm -hmm. Prince Charming and Cinderella, and, and because they hope they'll find their own fairy tale ending, cue everyone going, ah... Oh. Um, and um, basically it just highlights that it's happening this time of year. Um, puppies just one or two days old just being left. It's a clever ruse though. I have Prince Charming. I, I, I elect <laughs> to go for Prince really? Charming myself. Yeah, I don't know what the other all. options are. No white or buttons. <laughs> or no, I'm having oh, charming. charming, thanks. Fair enough. Helen <laughs> Stewart, do stay with us. Uh, we're going to take a, a break.